Good morning everyone. How are you? Are you all fine? Today in our English classroom we are discussing about how to make slogans, posters and how to describe a person. Okay? So watch the video very carefully and do the activities. Thank you. Last English class we had a discussion about a boy who goes in search of the river feels discouraged when he misses the village boy. He looks up and down the mountain path but sees no one. His own home is hidden from view by the side of the mountain and the river is not sight either. Now he wishes someone were with him. So you already wrote the thoughts of the boy he felt that time. Second activity we discussed in last class. There are two descriptions are given to find out which description is more interesting. So I'll read once again both description. Listen carefully. The path was steep. It was a dizzy winding one. The hill was covered with lush green ferns. The trees were wound with creepers and a great wild dahlia would suddenly rear its golden head from the leaves and ferns. A trickle of water came from the hillside. The water was cold and sharp but very refreshing. This is the first uh, a paragraph given in A. So let's read a B. The path was steep. The hill was covered with ferns, trees and valleys. What came from hillside? The water was refreshing. So I ask you which sentence is uh, which description is more interesting is it a or b you all answered it is a a description is more interesting and more enjoyable next activity was description the boy after several years he visits the place the river again he notices that the place has been changed a lot. Now it has become a, a tourist spot. So last time you all describe very beautifully how the place will be. Okay, that is the one we did in last class. Uh, dear children, in that tourist spot, the boy notices a few placards and posters with slogans written by lovers of nature. Let's watch. Don't let mother nature become once upon a time. Conservation is a state of harmony between men and land. Earth provides enough to satisfy every man's needs but not every man's greed. Save water, save trees. Now you listen many slogans. So write two other slogans on the need to conserve, to save nature at given spaces. Now look at the poster against deforestation. This is a poster. So what do you see there? First you can see lend a helping hand. Then stop deforestation, save nature. Do not cut trees. No trees, no man. And a two pictures over here. Did you see a poster against deforestations? Now, uh, look at the questions. What did you see in the poster? So, what title did you see there? Write it in the given column. 
what do you see the illustrations right in the column then can you find a slogan from this poster right in right in space and can you find an instruction given in poster that also right in given column can you find a message from this uh, poster right in given space now you saw a pause against deforestation and uh, moreover you understood a poster needs a title an illustration illustration means a picture a poster requires a slogan and an instruction and a message now you can try to prepare a poster imagine that the nature club of your school is going to conduct a poster making competition in connection with the world environment day so now you can prepare a poster for the competition in your notebook now we will move to next activity activity 8 page number 16 I'll read about a boy's description in the story How far is the river He was about 12 years old a sturdy boy with untidy black hair and shining black eyes He had fine features and a clear brown skin but his hands and feet were rough and scratched He was barefooted not because he couldn't afford shoes but because he liked the feel of warm warm stones and cool grass Now you have to find describing word about the boy for example physic okay physic means the size and the body structure which describing words used here I'll read the sentence again for you. He was about 12 years old, a sturdy boy. And here which word used describe the physique of the boy? So we can say a sturdy boy. So the word is sturdy, right? Now find out correct dis describing word from the paragraph for the boy's hair boy's eyes the boy's skin and boy's hands and feet today's last activity page number 16 letter b uh, you already read a description about the boy how far is the river and uh, in activity b says the boy meets a girl you had already seen uh, read in the lesson that the boy met a girl on his way to the river so you have to describe the girl with reference to the following what are the reference the girl's appearance you already read it the boy's appearance in above paragraph and also you have to say the the girl's attitude okay plus behavior then you make a uh, minimum 10 sentence about uh, uh, the appearance and attitude and behavior of the girl you can write uh, you can write the description about the girl in your notebook and share thank you that's all for today